What's going on, Fancy Football fans? I'm your host, Hussein the Brain, and you're watching The Couch. Welcome to my Week 15 DFS NFL Picks video. Last week's webinar was a huge success. Thank you to everyone that came and joined us. In that webinar, I revealed a few services that I'm offering, a few DFS products. If you guys want to purchase these, you can go here or just go to fantasycouch.com. I'm selling lineups. You can get lineups for one week or a bargain deal for three weeks. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's a one-hour Skype session, and it's going to be some really good secrets, some secrets that I haven't revealed on these videos nor on the webinar, so check that out. Let's go into my picks for week 15. As you already know, we like to start off with the defense and kicker, and that gives us a better idea of our average remaining salary. For this week, I'm going to put a little bit more emphasis on who the bargain picks are and who the expensive studs are, so we'll make a little bit differentiation between those two. For defense, my top bargain pick is the Steelers defense. I'd also consider the Bengals D. I don't think they have a ton of upside, but if you can't spend up, you have money left over, the Chiefs and the Seahawks are the way to go. They're the most expensive defenses this week, but they're going to be well worth it if you can afford it. But the Steelers at 4,600, that's probably the cheapest I can go, and I feel pretty confident in them, so let's plug them in for now. For kickers, I really like Hauschka at 5,000. I like Mike Nugent at 4,700, but let's put in a minimum price kicker. You know, we like those minimum price kickers at least to start off with. So let's go with uh, either Nick Novak, Dustin Hopkins, or Matt Prater. I'm going with Matt Prater in a lot of my lineups, so let's stick him in for now. So we got Prater and the Steelers D. Let's go back up to the QB and pick from there. My stud quarterbacks that are not cheap this week are Carson Palmer and Drew Brees. I like these two guys very much. Drew Brees at home is fire, and Carson Palmer has been very consistent. One of the most consistent and flat out really good quarterbacks this year. Matt Stafford price is $7,800. He's sort of in between when it comes to the price. I like him playing in, the, in a dome in New Orleans in one of the most highest scoring games. Slated to be the highest scoring game this week. And my bargain bin ballers for quarterbacks are Alex Smith priced at $7,000. That's cheap, cheap. And also... TJ Yates priced at 6000 If you're really struggling on a quarterback to pick, you just can't choose. You might want to just spend minimum price, basically minimum price, 6000 for TJ Yates going against the Colts. Terrible defense. For running backs, if you want to spend up, you go with Adrian Peterson. He's really good. A stud. Projected to be the highest scoring running back, most expensive running back, but he's going to be worth the price. If you want to save a little bit of money, I'm going with Denard Robinson and David Johnson. I love those two running backs this week. Priced at $6,500 for David Johnson and only $6,300 for Denard Robinson. If you want to save a little bit more money, go with Hightower. You can go with Jeremy Hill, sort of a TD or a bust running back. That's a generalization about him, but you really, really hope he gets a TD since he doesn't catch a lot of balls. Um, sometimes, a lot of times, he doesn't break off for the huge run. So you're hoping he gets one or two TDs for you. Talking about the Chiefs backfield, I really like Sharkandrick West, but only if Ware is out. I say that Ware is probably going to play, so Sharkandrick West is not a great DFS pick. Uh, more of a contrarian pick if Ware is active. Uh, we don't know how many snaps uh, Ware is going to get because he has been banged up this past week. And if you want to save a lot more money, look at Brandon Bolden price at only $5,500. For wide receivers, my expensive studs are DeAndre Hopkins and Julio Jones. I love those two guys. Great price, great matchups. Lots of upside and a pretty good floor as well. Doug Baldwin and Larry Fitzgerald are definitely worth considering at that mid-price range. Priced at $7,200 and $7,400. That's, um, Fitzgerald is uh, $200 cheaper than Baldwin. And for my bargain wide receivers, I got Jeremy Macklin, only $6,700. Kamar Aiken, only $6,300. And if you want to go super cheap, we got Robert Woods at $5,100. Charles Clay is out, so that's going to boost his uh, his value. And also Dontrell Inman at only 5000 So those are my bargain guys at wide receiver. For tight end, stud, no surprise here, Gronkowski. But he's priced at 8500 That's super expensive. Um, then if you want to go a little bit cheaper, we have Jordan Reed at 6300 Julius Thomas at 6200 Now who I really like, the price is right, Antonio Gates 
5,800 going against the Dolphins. Not a great defense. And Phillip Rivers should be able to target him quite a bit. So 5,800 for Antonio Gates. He's got that okay floor. Really high ceiling. Really like that guy. Also, Benjamin Watson. I think this guy has a really high floor. Price at only 5,600. Playing at home against the Lions. If you want to save a lot more money, kind of an obvious pick here, but a very risky one though, for sure. Eric Ebron at only 4,800. That's going to be a really good one. The Saints are the worst team when defending the tight end in fantasy. And if you want to punt, this is the true definition of a punt. You can go with Vance McDonald for only 4,600. He is a 49ers tight end, so you have to temper your expectations with him. That is a definition of a true punt. And those are all my picks for week 15. If you guys want to try out some of these picks on FanDuel, you can do so by following the link below and using promo code Fantasy Couch. You can play for free on FanDuel or play for as little as $1. I wish you guys all good luck this week. Make sure you follow the link below and use promo code Fantasy Couch. Thanks. And that's all the time we have for this video. Make sure you guys check out some of my DFS products like lineups and one-on-one -on -one coaching. I also have a bundle where I bundle all those up for three weeks of lineups and one-on-one -on -one coaching. You can use promo code, same promo code on there. So use promo code Fantasy Couch and you'll save 30% off those products as well. Also make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video, leave a comment, all that jazz. I'll see you guys on the next one.